This video demonstrates how to deploy and set up HPE OneView for VMware vCenter. HPE OneView for VMware vCenter is a VMware vCenter plugin that is used to manage HPE Synergy and HPE ProLine servers. This plugin simplifies administration by providing easy access to health, inventory, and physical and virtual views of your virtualized infrastructure via the VMware vSphere client. Perform these checks before installation. You have infrastructure administrator privileges to both HPE OneView and HPE OneView for VMware vCenter appliances. You have a host server with VMware ESXi installed. You have an IP address with gateway, subnet mask, and DNS server details for the HPE OneView for VMware vCenter appliance with the FQDN configured for the selected IP. The DNS is configured. Validate the forward and reverse DNS entries for the HPE OneView for VMware vCenter appliance IP and your vCenter IP address. Make sure that there is stable network connectivity between VMware vCenter, VMware vSphere client and HPE OneView appliance. Ensure all the specified ports are enabled. Here are some best practices to remember. Hewlett Packard Enterprise always recommends using the VMware vSphere client to deploy the OVF template. Note that ESXi host level deployment is not supported. If VMware vCenter or HPE OneView for VMware vCenter is installed before configuring the DNS, you will most likely encounter certificate authentication problems that prevent the two from establishing the connection. Custom SPP that are created only through the HPE SPP portal are supported for VLCM-based firmware updates. Confirm that the time on all your systems, including your VMware ESXi hosts, are synchronized with the time on your VMware vCenter or a trusted time server. For ILO vMedia-based deployment, HPE OneView for VMware vCenter must have access to HPE ILO network and port 3512 must be opened in the firewall between HPE OneView for VMware vCenter and HPE ILO. Now let us start with deploying and setting up the appliance. Log on to the VMware vSphere client. Right click host and select deploy OVF template. On Select an OVF template screen, select either the URL or the local file. For the URL, enter the specified URL and click Next. For the local file, click Upload Files. Select the OVF template and click Next. Specify the name and folder location for the OVA deployment and click Next. To select a compute resource, select the location where to run the OVA file and click Next. Review the details and click Next. Select the checkbox to indicate that you have read and understood the HPE EULA agreement. Click Next. On the Select Storage screen, click the drop-down menu to select Virtual Disk Format and choose the destination from the available data stores. Note that to manage resources, use thin provisioning. Click Next. Select the required network for your virtual machine. Network 1 must be a vCenter network. If required, you can select a different network for Network 2 and Network 3. Click Next. Customize the template with valid deployment properties listed in the table. The host name must be a fully qualified domain name registered in the DNS server. Click Next. Verify the template settings and click Finish. Select the deployed appliance 
power it on after deployment launch and configure the plugin appliance before using it now let us set up the appliance launch the administrator console of HPE OneView for VMware vCenter using the appliance hostname or IP address from https colon double slash appliance hostname Note that when deploying HPE OneView for VMware vCenter appliance, the appliance host name must be an FQDN registered on the DNS server. The setup page appears. Click Setup. Enter the new password and confirm the password. Click OK. Management VM helps to configure the network and DNS settings. Log collection generates logs required for logging a support call for the product. Sessions shows information about all the active sessions on the appliance like deployment and provisioning. Time shows the current time and date. Upgrade helps to upgrade the appliance and track the activity status. Backup and restore initiates the backup or restore and tracks the last activity. Custom Properties defines the properties for debugging with help from the support personnel. Logging enables or disables trace level logging if required by the support personnel for troubleshooting. To configure system date, time and time zone, click time. On the time screen, click actions menu and select edit. You can select one of the following options on the edit time page. Synchronize with host. Synchronize with time server. Hewlett Packard Enterprise recommends that you select the option Synchronize with time server. If you have selected Synchronize with time server, provide the details of up to four NTP servers either by providing an IP address or the FQDN. Hewlett Packard Enterprise recommends using NTP servers to ensure that time remains accurate and in synchronization when applying the licenses. Adjustments for daylight savings time are made automatically where applicable. If there is a large time discrepancy between the NTP time and system time, reboot the plugin appliance. Click OK. To add vCenter, click HPE OneView for VMware vCenter menu. Select Managers. Click vCenters. Click Add vCenter. The Add vCenter page appears. Enter the vCenter hostname or IPv4 address. Enter the vCenter username. Note that the username used must have the vCenter administrator privileges. Enter the vCenter password. Click Add. To add multiple vCenters, click Add Plus. From the VMware vSphere client homepage, click HPE OneView Credentials. Click Add. Enter the host name slash IP address and credentials for each HPE OneView appliance in your environment. Click Save. For HPE OneView managed servers and enclosures, only the HPE OneView credentials must be configured. Now your appliance is configured and ready to use. All servers must be managed by HPE OneView using HPE OneView standard or advanced licenses. You can search and download the latest version of the software from the official download link. First, let us activate the product. Log on to My HPE Software Center. Click on the software icon. Search for the product HPE OneView for VMware vCenter. Click search. From the search results, select the software that you want to download. You can view and download the latest version based on your requirements. 
we have completed the demonstration thank you